SEO tools are essential if you really want to improve your online visibility. But as a local business owner, I understand you probably have better fish to fry than learning how to use them and spend money on them. The alternative? SEO Google Chrome extensions. These are just like tiny SEO tools you can add to your browser, but still provide tons of information that will help you improve your search engine optimization efforts in no time. In today's video, I'm going to show you nine of my favorite SEO Chrome extensions and how to use them so you can start climbing the Google local ranking ladder. Oh, and I almost forgot, they're all free. If you want to find out more, hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi there, my name is Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. If this is your first time here today and you want to grow your local business's online presence, why don't you start by subscribing now and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. There are dozens of SEO Chrome extensions to choose from and that's why I've decided to come up with the nine I feel will be the most useful to support your local SEO strategy. I've put a link to each and every one of them in the description below. All you need to do is click on the one you want to download it. So let's have a look at the first one. Keyword Surfer. If you're struggling to find out which keywords you should be targeting, Keyword Surfer should be able to help. Once installed, just go to Google and enter a keyword you think you want to rank for. Keyword Surfer will automatically add the estimated monthly search volume for this keyword, along with the estimated cost per click if you wanted to run a Google ad campaign. This should help you figure out if a keyword is worth going after. Keyword Surfer will also provide a useful list of keyword ideas based on your initial search in the form of a table on the right hand side of the search results, again with estimated monthly search volume. If you see any keywords you feel are worth targeting, just star them and they will be added to a clipboard which you can export as a CSV format and import in an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheet. You can scroll through multiple pages of results. The higher the similarity percentage is, the closest it matches the keyword you have initially entered. To change the country result, just use the drop down next to the flag at the top of the table. Fat rank. Do you need to know quickly where your site ranks for some of your targeted keywords? Install fat rank extensions from fatjoe.com. Once installed, bring your website up in your browser or your competitor's site and click on the fat rank icon. Before you can conduct a search, you will need to provide an email address, accept the terms and conditions, and join the newsletter. You can use a dummy email address if you want, as there is no verification required. Enter the keyword for which you want to check the ranking of your website and the correct country, then click check. Within seconds, you should see exactly which position your website ranks for this particular keyword. Repeat this for as many keywords as you want. Once you're done checking, you can export your results by clicking on the Session Report tab and download a CSV report which you can import in an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheet. Do this once a month for the same keywords so you can compare your progress over time. And while you're at it, don't forget to include your competitor's site. It would be a shame not to. Subtrends. If you want to know who is going up or down within your space, you'll want to add subtrends to your extension arsenal. Using color-coded arrow icons next to your Google search results, search trends will track who is going up or down over time for the keywords you've been looking at. Very useful if you want to quickly identify who your most aggressive competitors are and how well your site is doing. Please note that you'll have to wait at least 24 hours before the first results start showing. Obviously, this will only work if you check the same keywords over time. SEO meta in one click. Before I cover this extension, let me quickly describe what a meta tag is for those of you who are completely new to SEO. Meta tags are snippets of HTML code that describe information within a web page. Here is an example of such snippet for the title of a web page. In a nutshell, meta tags help search engines understand what a page is about. Those tags are not seen by viewers, but by search engines only. They are important to get right since search engines use them as signals to rank websites in search results. The most common ones are the meta title and the meta description of a page, which get displayed in search results. There are many others which can all be found quickly with the SEO meta in one click extension. Once you've installed the extension, go to your website and click on the app icon. This will show a summary of the existing meta tags on your page. 
you can click on the question mark icon to find out more about the tag itself and some anomalies will be highlighted in red. Hover on it for more information. In this case, my title is too long. You'll also see the number of header tags which are used to help define the structure of a page, all of which can be found in the second tab of the extension. The third tab will give you information about your images and whether or not you are missing all tags, which is what is used to describe what a picture is about to search engines. Missing all tags will be highlighted in red. I wouldn't worry too much about the links and social tabs at this stage as it will not influence your SEO rankings. This extension is very useful to quickly identify potential issues with your meta tags which can all be modified through your content management system. Broken link checker. Having broken links on your site is not recommended. A broken link means that when a user clicks on it, a 404 page will be returned. This provides poor user experience, but also sends signals to search engines the website is of poor quality. Too many broken links can be detrimental to your ranking, so it's important to fix them. Identify broken links quickly on any given page of your site with Atom SEO Broken Link Checker. Once installed, go to any page on your website and click on the Atom SEO icon. This extension will scan your page for broken links and highlights the faulty ones in red. All you need to do is fix them using your content management system. Ahrefs Toolbar Ahrefs is, in my opinion, the best SEO tool on the market due to the quality of its data and functionalities and is used by many SEO professionals, including me. Unfortunately, it's also fairly expensive, especially if you only run a single local website. Thankfully, there is a free Chrome extension available which displays data directly into Google search results in the form of a small table, but also attaches a toolbar to your browser which provides information about any given website or web page you want to check. Once installed, you should see the Ahrefs logo in your browser, which you can turn on and off by just clicking on it. Let's have a look at the information you can get from it. Let's go to Google and search for emergency plumber in Manchester, for example. Right under the Google search bar, Ahrefs will tell you how often this keyword is searched for every month in a given country. In its example, it's UK. The number of clicks on the search results people make for that keyword. The estimated cost per click if you were to pay for it. The keyword difficulty out of 100, which is how hard it would be to rank number one for this keyword and the global monthly search volume across all countries. To change the selected countries, just click on the cog located on the right hand side of the toolbar, select the SERP overview tab and choose the appropriate country. Let's continue our data mining. Please note that Ahrefs doesn't give you any information on the Google My Business panel, so let's go down to the organic results. Right under each results, you'll see a small table split into two sections. The first section provides information about the page listed in the results, while the second section provides information about the overall website. Let's go through them. Starting with the page information. BL stands for backlinks, which is the number of external links pointing to this specific page. RD stands for referring domain, which is the number of different websites where those links are coming from, which is always a lower number since you can have multiple links from one website. SD is for the estimated monthly organic traffic this page gets. Key W is for the number of keywords this page ranks for in the top 100 organics result. And UR is for how strong this URL is considered out of 100. Pretty cool, right? Why is this useful? Because in just a few seconds, you can see how strong the web page is ranking for these keywords are based on their link profile, which you can compare to your own results so you can understand how far off you are with your own website. The second section is very similar to the first one, but is for the overall website. There are two additional data sets, one called DR, which stands for domain rating and represent the strength of the overall website, and AR, which is Ahrefs' way of ranking websites in its own database. 
But that's not all. If you click on one of the results and go to the website, Ahrefs will overlay its toolbar on the page where you can find even more information in addition to the ones I've just covered, such as the status of the page, the ability to find broken links on a page so you can fix them, an on-page data report, and the number of outgoing links. Overall, this is an awesome extension, and if you were to download only one, this is the one I would recommend. Page Speed Insights how fast your website loads on a computer or a cell phone has become a very important ranking factor in Google. The slower your site is, the more likely Google will push you down the pecking order. To find out how fast your website truly is, download the Google PageSpeed Insights extension. Once downloaded, click on the PageSpeed icon extension and wait for a few seconds, after which you will be given an overall score. The higher the number, the better it is. You can find further details if you click on the See More link where you'll be able to see the performance for both desktop and mobile separately and where the pain points are so you can fix them. VidIQ. For those of you who run a YouTube channel and want to improve your video rankings, I thoroughly recommend you download the VidIQ extension. You will need to create an account to use even the basic version, but it's worth it. Once downloaded, you can go onto any YouTube video and vidIQ will provide loads of information you can use to optimize your very own videos, such as the number of views per hour a video is getting, how well it's doing across social media channels, the overall SEO score, how well it's doing in comparison to the overall channel. Also, a video optimization checklist, which enables you to verify if you've done everything right, specifics about the channel itself, what tags are being used for the video and the tags used for the channel and much more. Search for a keyword and you'll instantly be given access to the respective data which will include highest views, average views, average subscribers. Also available is an overall score which measures if this is a keyword you should consider based on your channel type as well as some related keywords. I personally use a paid version of vidIQ but if you are just starting out the basic version will definitely help you out. Grammarly. If you write a lot of content for your site, you should consider the Grammarly extension. Grammarly is a free digital writing assistant that will help you write better content as it will check your spelling, correct your grammar, and also make semantic suggestions. Add the app to your toolbar, click on the icon, and set up your preferences, then click on New Document. As you type away, Grammarly will automatically make suggestions and corrections. The free version is very decent, even if sometimes I am not convinced about some of the suggested changes, but overall, it's extremely useful. Using some of these extensions should help you save time, effort, and improve your overall online visibility. Don't hesitate to use them to check out your competitors' performance too, so you know where you stand and what you need to work on. You don't need to download them all, just click the ones you feel will be the most useful to you. That's it for today. If you have any questions or remarks, post them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And if you don't know what to watch next, why don't you check out my video, how to do some local keyword research in five minutes or how to do a 25 minute local SEO audit. Until next time, happy marketing.